This is the fig you need to have, period. Okay, so people often ask my advice on what kind of fig they should buy, whether it's for a cutting or for a tree. Pay close attention to the information in this video because I'm going to tell you what is the right fig that you need to get. But first, if you haven't done so, please follow my channel, like this video, and leave me any comments or questions that you may have. All right, when I get asked for the best fig, I'm usually asked like this. I'm looking for the biggest fig, or I'm looking for the sweetest fig, or I'm looking for the most prolific fig tree, or I'm looking for the most cold, hardy fig tree. Other questions are, I want the most beautiful fig, I want the best green fig, or I want the best black fig. I want the earliest fig. I want a fig that tastes like the one I used to have back home when I used to live in a different country. And finally, my favorite one of all is I want the best fig. I'm going to take the time and tell you why each and every single one of those requests has so many different ways of being the wrong thing to ask for. And I'm going to try to answer each one of those questions with a fig that I think matches that description. And then I will tell you the benefits and disadvantages of each of those figs. Keep in mind that most of the fig videos you'll see out there are just telling you what's good about a specific variety and nobody is telling you the downside. So let's start with the biggest fig. My favorite big fig is Long Dute. I'm a big fan of this fig. And while there are many other large figs out there that may be bigger in size, this fig is my top choice in the large fig category. If you want to know some other big figs out there, there's Brown Turkey, Stella, and Yellow Long Neck. But out of all those, I would pick Long Dude every time. Okay, so how about the question, I'm looking for the sweetest fig? This might be one of the most unanswerable questions. It's almost like saying, I'm looking for the sweetest fruit. You see, while all figs share a common fig flavor, there are three main fig flavor groups. You have the honey fig, the sugar fig, and the berry figs. My favorite honey fig is Cypress honey. Each fig gives you a mouthful, but what I love most about this fig is on top of the honey caramel flavor you get some complexity in there and you get that flavor that can only be described as figgy flavor. My favorite sugar fig is Improved Celeste. And my favorite berry fig is a tie between Col de Dame Blanc and the newly discovered Pintasilga. Another question. I'm looking for the most prolific fig tree. This is a smart question. Think about it. What good is a delicious fig if you can only eat one or two figs from it every year? Prolific trees are Salziel and LSU Champagne. The downside to those is they're a bit on the smaller side. But hey, I'd rather pick four or five small delicious figs than one big one that doesn't taste as good. I'm looking for the most cold hardy fig tree. Before I answer this, I have to tell you that if you live in a cold zone like mine, 
basically anything zone 6 or below, no fig tree is going to survive unprotected in the winter. But protected for Breba, I would choose Desert King with a disadvantage of no main crop ripening. And for a main crop fig tree, I would choose a Chicago Hardy type like MBVS. Better tasting than some other Chicago Hardy types, in my opinion. I'm looking for the most beautiful fig tree. So I'll give you two. Panache, but you'll be lucky to get any of them to ripen in time if you live in my zone. And the other one is Bordesote Blanca Negra, which is a dark variegated fig. Now, the last two, I'm not going to even attempt to answer because the best green fig could be in the honey category, like Peter's Honey or Atriano to LSU Hollier, which is a favorite for many, or it could be a green berry fig like Strawberry Verte, Sucret, or Smith. And the same goes for best dark fig. There are dark berry figs like the fantastic and early Ronde de Bordeaux to amazing figs like Niagara Black, which has a completely different flavor profile. So just dark fig or just green fig doesn't really specify the taste. One of the figs I feel captures many great qualities and is one I highly recommend is LSU Tiger. This fig is bigger than the Chicago Hardy types, is not as early as Ronde de Bordeaux and improved Celeste, but is definitely earlier than many not as prolific as LSU Champagne and Salzial, but is very prolific and tastes fantastic. Of course, not as fantastic as Black Madeira and I-258, which in many people's opinions are the best tasting figs. Although, good luck in getting enough of them or any in some cases, to ripen early enough for you, depending on where you live and what kind of an early head start, if any, that you give. Those are my picks. I'm RK Figs, and I'll see you next time.